Welcome to your exercise on slow flight. I want you to notice we are currently flying about 90 knots, only 8,500 feet and full power. With this, also take note of the horizon and the nose of the aircraft. When we are flying at normal cruising speeds and altitudes, this is what our aircraft configuration and view of field will look like. Now we need to demonstrate what happens to the aircraft when we are flying slower than intended. So I'm going to come back on the power for a much slower flight. Now we're going to maintain 8,500 feet. Notice now that all I'm adding back pressure to raise the nose of the aircraft to maintain 8,500 feet. The reason this is is because because my speed decreases, less speed means less lift. So now I need to compensate by changing my angle of attack. So by ch changing my angle of attack for slower speed, the more I increase the angle of attack, the more lift is generated. So now I can see my nose is actually above the horizon. I'm maintaining about 8,500 feet but my speed is much slower than usual. Also, look at the amount of input I can do to my controls and the aircraft is not responding as rapidly as it would at speeds. So this will be the exercise for slow flight for you, just to demonstrate on, and for you to know, the slower the aircraft becomes, the much more higher or bigger the angle of attack is so your nose will have a higher attitude towards the horizon your aircraft controls will be much more sloppier and more control input will be needed from your side and that's it for your slow flight see you for the next flight lesson